All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today I kind of want to talk about something that I've been noticing over on TikTok. Now, obviously people have been talking about time travelers for pretty much ever now, at least ever since I can remember. It's a pretty big part of like sci-fi and maybe even future science and whatever, right? But I've been noticing over on TikTok, people are going viral simply for claiming, oh, hey, I'm a, I'm a time traveler, man. I came from the year 4087 and I'm gonna tell you about what to expect, right? Now, I think most of us can already tell, like, that this is fake, right? Because, I mean, just basic logic. I mean, if you just think about this for more than about three seconds, if your brain doesn't work in 2D and you can actually, like, think beyond, like, just a flat square in your fucking head, you can pretty much figure out that this is all just a bunch of garbage and it's just, it, it's stuff meant for speculation, right? Like, it's meant to hype up people who are gullible so that you can basically gain free interaction from them, okay? And we're gonna go through some of these videos here today, some of these TikToks in particular, and we're gonna kind of debunk them. Or are we going to be debunked? I mean, who really knows at this point, man? Maybe they're gonna use some time traveler logic on me I can't really defeat. Keep in mind, time travelers, or people who claim to be time travelers, I really should be saying, uh, basically, these are people who most of the time make very vague, random, uh, you know, I guess predictions if you even want to call that for the future it's not hard to predict things going on right like right now here i can make some predictions for you climate change will have disastrous effects on humanity in the next few hundred years by the year 2300 humans will be a multi-planetary species not really hard right you can just say anything you put a year down guess what you made a prediction it doesn't make it accurate it doesn't make it realistic but it's a, pred a prediction nonetheless anyway let let's go ahead and take a look at some of these predictions and see what's gonna happen in the future i mean these are real time travelers right All right, so we got a time traveler from the year 2582, and he's here to tell us about the, you know, giant sea creatures that are evolving a society underneath the oceans on our planet. Yeah, we've all heard of Atlantis, bro. Uh, it's been a conspiracy slash uh, folk story or whatever you want to call it for hundreds of years now. We get it, bro. There's life in the water that that's going to stun us, right? They're, they're, they're going to come up out of there, you know, in their ships or whatever. Yeah, okay, bub. So you're from the year 2582, and out of all years that you could have went back to, you're like, you know what, let's go to 2021. Like, if you think about it and you're a time traveler, you could have done anything, bro. You could have went back and stopped 9-11. You could have went back and prevented World War II. And you can't even use the argument like, oh, I didn't want to, you know, change the course of history, because if that was the case, you wouldn't be in the year 2021 trying to tell us about the fucking sea people. Out of all years, 2021, and on top of that, you come back and your first thought is like, let me create a TikTok account and name myself the authentic time traveler and tell people about this. Because, you know, that's not going to interfere with history or anything crazy like that, right? You just came back to this time period and you just automatically knew how to use a smartphone, right? In 2582, I'm sure there won't be any technology that completely makes cell phones fucking obsolete. But you, yeah, you know how to use an iPhone 8. And of course, you know, very realistic, right? Hey, I'll actually show proof of my claim if I get 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm real, guys. This isn't a joke. You know, warning, trigger warning here. Hey, I'm, I'm totally real, bro. 10K subs and I'll reveal what they look like. Obviously would have no benefit to doing this. None of this adds up. It's just obvious fucking bullshit. Now, if you're too dumb to get it, which I'm hoping most of you aren't, they're lying for clout, right? Like, they want 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. They don't want to put in the work and the effort that actually, you know, requires you to fucking do something in order to get that 10k subs. But, uh, no, we'll just get on TikTok and cap for people who just don't fucking think ever. Many of you still don't believe I'm a real time traveler, so remember these five dates. 
Apparently, we're going to find a perfect mirror of Earth. Uh, it's going to have the opposite gravity, quote-unquote, which, what the fuck does that even mean? Opposite gravity. Then we're going to get a Category 6 hurricane right into South Carolina. It's the worst in history. Uh, there's no Category 6, by the way. The scale goes up to Category 5. So, apparently, this is going to be such a bad hurricane, right, that it's they're going to have to say, fuck the old scale, right? Like, this one doesn't work anymore. It's outdated. They're going to drop the DLC Category 6, right? Like, God said... You know, I, I haven't been playing the game right. I know y'all been lacking with this content. You know, the coronavirus update, you know, little little old now, bro. Hold this Category 6 hurricane in South Carolina. Like, yeah, I'm sure. Then apparently, like a fucking Fortnite cutscene, eight humans receive superpowers from the energy of the sun. This has never happened before, right? Like, the sun is some benevolent being that's just capable of handing out superpowers. And it just now, in the year 2021, says, hey, eight random people here. Here's superpowers. Like, what is this? You, you write your Marvel movie, bro? You're that bored? You're just coming up with shit now? Apparently, some kids fucking start digging in the backyard and they find a T-Rex egg and a, a portal to an alternate universe. What is this, Rick and Morty? Like, do you just watch television and you're like, the, the concepts you see, you're like, yeah, this is what I'll go ahead and put on TikTok. Apparently, 2021 is the most eventful year in human history. Like, just imagine the news evolution over the years. You know, 1941, you know, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. And then fucking 2021, they're like, oh my god, kids literally got superpowers from the sun and found a portal to an alternate universe. By the way, guys, there's an Earth out there with opposite gravity, motion, laws of physics, fucking society. It's right there. Like, apparently, this is going to be the craziest year ever, so, I mean... All right, so this is actually a different time traveler. This is the person from the last video. Remember the first, so this is the third video. The first one was its own individual person. Now the second and third one we've seen here are the same person. Now they claim they're from 2714. Have you ever noticed that these time travelers here, they never go to any millennium that's not our own, right? Like they don't go to like, hey, I'm, 9, 000, I'm from 9,887, right? Like it's always got to be in the 2000s. Like, come on, bro. Can you guys at least try to make it a little bit more believable? But uh, here's the summary of what's to come in the near future. The same thing that I just said in the last video that I made. First, it was going to have, you know, October 20th, right? We were going to have October 20th be when eight people got fucking superpowers, but now it's October 10th. Apparently, your time travel happened so much, right? You've been time traveling so much, you forget, you fucking shifted the days that events happen in history, right? And then, of course, the human fish life, which is from the other video as well. Completely different date, once again. In 2023, apparently, aliens just infiltrate, they infiltrate all government, right? Throughout Earth, because they want to cause chaos in humanity. Uh, you know, keep in mind, that logically doesn't make sense, right? If they wanted to cause chaos in humanity, they could literally just fucking wipe us out at any point, because, remember, they're aliens. They're capable of interdimensional, intergalactic travel, but apparently, the only way that they can infiltrate a rock that has a bunch of fucking evolved monkeys on it right is they they have to infiltrate their very bare bone governments right that they, they can't even function on their own but they have to infiltrate them to cause chaos instead of just fucking killing everybody or just showing up or whatever right like it's not even well thought out bullshit that's what gets my nerves going about this the most they didn't even try to think it out they didn't even try to make it believable or like even like real like even make the fucking fake details line up it's like if you're going to basically be a piece of shit liar i guess i mean in real are they really pieces of shit they they're very clearly doing this for clout but i mean people are so gullible it's like why why wouldn't you do it, I bet, but, you know, you want to be an asshole, and you want to lie, and you want to make up all this, like, horrible, catastrophic shit happening to people, but you can't even line up the dates in which it happens, it's like, come on, man.
Yep, absolute real footage here, folks. Uh, remember, it, it, it's very coincidental that in the year 5000, individual humans can float hundreds of fucking feet above the cityscapes and can make cinematic films on their, uh, whatever they're recording with, right? This totally isn't like stock footage that they ripped from somewhere. Then on top of the fact that they somehow mysteriously filmed this as a cinematic intro to a sci-fi movie, they then left the year 5000, very coincidental timing that you would just pick the year 5000. Uh, coincidentally, they come all the way back to 2021, get on email, which is obsolete in their timeline, to email this account, the footage that they took, I'm sure there's no fucking, you know, issue with, like, you know, the file compression or the file type, you know, took it and then they sent it to this guy so he could upload it. Yep, that, that's what happened. That's exactly uh, what I believe here, folks. So, I mean, do, do I really need to explain it anymore here, right? Like, we've taken a look at all these. They're all bullshit. It's people lying for the sake of lying, you know? They, they want attention on the internet that bad. But, uh, I mean, if you believe this shit, man, I feel bad for you. Anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubTheOptimus. Make sure to check out ShopOpti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus Well not believing this shit, and signing out.